guys, as per usual, I'm walking down the street leaving narratives in people's car door handles or under their windshields. And I look back and I see that Xavier has removed the narrative from the car door handle and thrown it on the ground. I asked him to pick it up and play dumb like I didn't see him do it. And ask him to put it in the windshield. He picks it up, pretends like he does, but really throws it on the ground again. I walk back there and look and there it is, sure enough, on the ground. So, husband, stalker, creep, brother of the district attorney, sabotage, which one? And what do you do when you ask a person to act right or get away and they refuse both options? what I'm doing when I say I just walked from downtown to 25 miles away northwest suburbs to drop off my kids groceries 200 pounds easily and look at the wheels this is not easy so for you guys wondering about the um, Eco ATM for phones, tablets, and laptops, I got $8 for a shattered iPhone 8, um, and I got a word from my sponsors, shout out to Target, and I got $50 for an iPhone 12, uh, the small version, the regular version yesterday. So that's $65 for two old iPhones. Um, I have an iPhone 12 Pro and an Android, so I have a phone with a backup. Um, so I keep those two, and then any of the old ones I've been recycling here. And it's called Eco ATM, Eco Electronics ATM. Okay, so now we have to condense my cart into one cart with Xavier's cart because the wheels are literally falling off. But, by the way, three wick candles are $14.95 in Bath and & Body and all of the fragrances are $4.95. Bath & Body, Harlem & Irving, I don't know if they're doing it at all the locations. We are going to um, condense our carts. But then we're at the laundromat and this 80 year old man is trying to help me get a job. He's like inquiring about our situation, can clearly see that we're homeless and have all of our stuff. I have been passing out flyers everywhere for four years. My first year of dealing with this, I made a business card with a direct link to my blog where I have everything written and passed out a thousand copies all around. Xavier followed that old man to Aldi out of the laundromat and threatened him for giving me contact information for a job. But he thinks that it's acceptable to go talk to these women who are literally overtly selling different services. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. Separate from me or act how you expect me to act. But then we're at the laundromat and this 80-year-old man is trying to help me get...